and the mother already knows about fine luxury cardboard rectangles, but what do you know about fine luxury cardboard squares? <music> Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. My friends, we are here today to talk about fine luxury tiles. I have in my hands a game by the name of Zoo Tiles Hime. All right, now, this is a super limited edition game. There's only 5,000 copies of this currently in existence. And I know how right now there's a big hubbub going on where people are getting excited about all kinds of different new card games. And there's just a lot of frenetic activity in the world of collectible gaming. So this is a collectible tile game, a trading tile game that will even feature booster packs and things like that in the future. Now, I'm fortunate enough that this is one of the first 25 copies of the game ever made. I was sent this by Josh, the individual who's actually responsible for creating the game. I have to say the quality of the box, the product itself seems pretty nice. I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like on the inside, getting into that goodness. So with no further ado, my friends, let's see what the inside contents look like. All right, my friends, here we have the actual product itself. Take a look at this box. Honestly, I was impressed when I received it in the mail because I wasn't expecting an indie release to look so professional. I thought that it would need some polish, but that's clearly not the case. Now, it's already ready to be peeled open. There's no going back now, my friends. This is cool. All right, so let's take a look. There's a lot of weight to the box as well. It doesn't feel like one of those boxes where you're getting a bunch of air shoved in there. All right, so what do we have? We have the actual rule book itself with the crazy zodiac symbols rotating around here. All right. Oh, you know what? That's cool, man. They didn't... Uh, they didn't skimp out. This looks very professional. I got to say, man, this looks like better than better than what I would make to start with. But as I said at the beginning, I don't actually know how to play this game. This is just meant to be an unboxing to take a look at the visual aspects of it. See what it looks like. I am going to go ahead and actually play the game. OK, it's straightforward. We got we got four stacks, four stacks of goodness. Pretty simple packaging, not too much that way. Easy to get open and ready go, ready to go. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Okay, how does this work? Oh, okay. So this is supposed to be a tile to cover the action pile. I don't know. I don't know. This is all right. So look at this. Oh, you got a cute little. You got a cute little tiger. She's so angry. She's tearing this little pink bunny apart. I'm a sucker for very colorful artwork, and I do like the anime style that this is done. And honestly. Uh, the emails that I received from the creator of the game, Josh, he talked about this is one of the reasons that the game is taking a little longer to roll out because they don't want to cheap out on the artwork. And I have to say, I appreciate that. So how many copies of Tiger do you get here? All right, we've got a whole bunch of copies of Tiger. And then you've got a number of copies of Dog. Because like I said before, this is based on the Zodiac symbol. So it looks like... Is there a different amount of each or is there the same amount? And I just can't count four or seven. Okay. It looks like there's seven of each of the Zodiac tiles. And this is dog. Honestly, it's an interesting idea to have a dog character reclining back and reading books. It's not exactly the mentality that I would think of like, yo, what's going on? This is a dog here. So that's eh, funky. That's funky. What else do we got here? All right. Now we get into abilities, I guess that, okay. Yeah, it's got AR up here. So these are action reaction tiles, okay? So choose a, what's this one called? Loud bark. Choose a creature neighboring a, I suppose that's supposed to be a dog symbol. Ah, yeah, there you go. Look at that. That's actually really easy to pick up. It's got very clear visual cues. I like that. So choose a creature neighboring a dog you control. Have its controller move the creature one space into an empty one. Capture the creature if its controller cannot do this. Oh, so you can either force the creature to move or take control of it. And you have, <laughs> is that a megaphone? Is that what's going on here? You've got, <laughs> you've got a dog just barking through a megaphone. Keep off the grass. And this is a little, 
This little sheep, is this a sheep girl? I'm not sure, maybe, is that supposed to be a ram? Very colorful, I like that. All right, then we've got Effortless Pounce, and this is a reaction. Choose any, what symbol is that? That looks like the cat, right? Let me see here. The tiger, oh yeah, okay, so that's the tiger symbol. Choose a tiger you control. This tiger may be added as an ally for this battle, even if it does not neighbor the defender. All right, I'm already picking up some of the rules of the game. Obviously you can defend if you're a neighbor and you've got this tiger girl leaping on another. Is, that a, is she a bunny girl? I guess she looks kind of, kind of like a rabbit girl. All right, I like that. It's got some fun little, fun little silliness to it. This is a, a lighthearted feel, you know, like no escape. This doesn't feel super dangerous. No escape. Play uh, a battle action, what, play on a battle action stack in which a tiger you control as attacker or an attacking ally, discard all AR and R tiles below this tile. Opponents may no longer add tiles to this battle action stack. Oh, so this is like, um, kind of like a counter spellish. That's kind of the vibe that I get. And you got the tiger here with her little, she, oh, is she blocking? She's just blocking a sword blade with her arm. That's pretty intense, actually. All right, cool. Then we've got Tiger Frenzy. Oh, this artwork is adorable. So, <laughs> discard all creatures neighboring each tiger. What? So the tiger just wipes out everybody around them in a crazy frenzy, and it shows her going to town, I guess, in like a in a toy store, just destroying, destroying the products. You're going to get kicked out of the store, lady. All right, then what do we got? We got... Tiger Totem. Oh, funky. This has stats on it. Strength three, intelligence zero. Not what? Zero? You got no brains. Your tigers do not need a, not, do not need a battle tile to start a battle. Oh, okay. Is this like an artifact that sticks in play? It's an item. Okay. So you just kind of get to use this from turn to turn. I don't know, man. I'm totally, totally guessing. So that's the first stack that we've looked at here. Let's see what's, let's see what else we got. This is funky. This is cooler than I thought it was going to be. All right. So I'm not sure. I guess those are supposed to cover your, your piles. I don't know. Either way. Oh, now we've got the little rabbit. Come on, focus. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's trying to focus on you. All right. Rabbit strength one, intelligence three. Interesting, because the tiger was strength three, intelligence zero. So, I mean, that's four stat points overall, right? That seems OK. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not, I've been thinking about the totem at the end here. What were the stats? Never mind. I, I, I feel stupid now, because look, look at that. The tiger's five and two, and that's one and three. I don't know nothing. All right, so you got a little rabbit girl, and she's chilling out, chilling out with her carrots and whatnot. That's kind of silly. All right, that's cool. So I assume there's, what, seven of these? Eight? Nine? I don't, what? Why are there, okay, maybe overall there's an even amount throughout the packaging. I don't know how many different copies there are. There. What is this? Rabbit hole. Uh, I'm not even going to make the joke that I want to. Okay, so this is strength one, intelligence one on a, this is a ob obstacle. Oh, they have obstacles. Okay. As a R, what's, an, what's R again? R is as a reaction. As a reaction, you can place a bunny you control under this tile. As an action, you may take a bunny from under this tile and place it into an empty space. If this tile is discarded from the playing area, discard all bunnies in the hole. Oh no, the little bunny hole. I mean, it, it makes sense from the surface of it. It's a place for them to hide. She's Yanking her out of the rabbit hole? Get out of there! That is kind of funny. Rabbits, like, the idea of these humanoid anime rabbit girls trying to live in genuine rabbit holes makes me chuckle. All right, then we got Rabbit Leap. Oh, what is that? Is that a dragon? What? Okay. It is. It's a little dragon. So this is an action reaction. Choose a bunny you control. That bunny may leap in a straight line over one, two, or three tiles or spaces into an empty space. I like that. She's... Literally leaping away from a dragon. All right. Oh, how many of those do we got? We got two. Then we got <laughs> Waddle. There's, <laughs> there's an ability. I will activate my action. I'm going to waddle at you. What does Waddle do? You can move a... Is that bunny still? Nope, that didn't look like a bunny. That's something else. You can move as something you control over one space into an empty space. Some different animal. See, what what is going on here? You got a bunch of little... 
You got a bunch of little, what is this, geese, ducks in a row here? And then this chick's getting knocked into the pool? Oh, wait, no, she's going to crush her sandcastle made out of... What is going on in the side work? I don't know, I'm going to waddle on to the next. All right, we got when pigs fly. And <laughs> what? It's got multiple flying pigs. It's like the pig air force. Oh, look, she's like dressed up like an aviator. That's silly. That's fun. Move half rounded down of the pigs you control to new empty spaces. I assume that's what it's going to be, right? That makes sense. Oh, are these color coded to the, to the, like, look, this is the same color. And I think, I think it might be mentioning pigs. I don't know. I don't know. Omnivorous. Oh, look, it's a massive, it's a mass. Is that a pig consuming the world? What? Discard a tile neighboring a pig you control. So you can just eat anything? He's sucking in pillows and tables and a kite. And ah, oh, is that a tiger lady too? That's intense, man. All right, then we got, oof. Discard a ram you control from the playing area. Choose an opponent, randomly select half the tiles in their hand, discard those tiles. Whoa, you make them pitch half their hand by ram ramming into them. She's just running. She's just running at this other girl and headbutting her. That's amazing. Oh, that's funny. All right, then we've got a cage. This is strength five, intelligence four. That's a smart cage, unless those are the stats you need to have to use it. It's an item. Place cage on any creature, as long as cage remains on a tile, that tile's considered out of play. Oh, it's, uh, it's like an RFG card. This tiger has been placed in a cage while they're having an animal party on the outside. Man, I love the colorful, goofy nature of the artwork. Getting rammed to lose half your cards is funny to me. Then we got push. Move a ram you control to the left or right, one or two or three spaces. If there are tiles in the path, push those along as the ram moves. That makes sense. I'm already really digging this little ram girl right here. She's, look at her legs. You got that crazy comic book mega spin going on. It's just like, you're getting pushed forward against your will. You got the ruts being driven into the ground. I like the artwork. It's just silly and fun. All right. We got two more stacks to look at, my friends. There's lots of there's lots of stuff in here. There's way more stuff in here than I thought there was going to be. There's like 80 tiles. So when it comes to the um, the what's it called uh, um, the different animals, you know how there's 12 animals in the Chinese zodiac. This set has six of them, and then the next set, actually the second set, which should be coming out around this time of year, might already actually. I believe it is already out. It has the other six zodiacs. So we've got the pig here, and you can see she's sitting up front. She got a big old bowl of food. It doesn't look like she's that much of a. Oh wait a minute, is she? Ew, she's sitting in a tub of mud. Come on, girl, that's not a good place to eat. All right, that's silly. So how many pigs did we get? Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm <laughs> my confusion continues. All right, we got it's only a bunny. Oh, it's got this cute little this cute little bunny girl here with her little bunny mask. Oh, I'm kind of feeling like a bleach character. If a bunny you control has no allies and is a defender, no new tiles can be added to this stack. Discard all the tiles below. Capture the attacker and all its allies. Wow, okay, that's a pretty effective bunny. And I like the contrast of like the innocent little look with the gigantic hammer in the background and then the shadows showing like a snake, a dragon, and I guess a tiger all getting ready to make a feast of her. That's cool. Then we got uh, the ram. Oh, there's little rammy ram ram. All right, how many rams do we get? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rams? I have no idea if that's supposed to be random. Oh, meteor. What does this do? Strength three, intelligence zero. If you have any points, meteor will cost you one to play. Choose a space. Discard all tiles in that space. Place a meteor in that space. All right, so this just smashes something out of its way and takes its place. It counts as something, no idea what. Then we got extinction. All right, so you got a dinosaur here with its bones. You've got a little bunny trapped in amber. <laughs> you may only play extinction if you have three or more different creature classes in play. Choose a creature class, discard all creatures of that class in play. Oh, so it's a somewhat of a board wipe, all right. Oh, look at that, so cute, it's a snuggle party. I wanna play a game where, I wanna play games where we can have snuggle parties. All right, so what, what does this do? Choose a bunny you control, 
You now control all creatures neighboring that bunny as long as those creatures remain neighbors to the bunny. Oh, that's cute. They all are like, oh, the bunny's so snuggly. I have to spend time with her. All right, and then we've got rabbit habit. <laughs> so you got a, a nurse rabbit, a little baby rabbit. If you control, if a rabbit you control has a rabbit neighbor, draw three tiles, reveal all tiles drawn this way. Oh, I see what's going on. I know what a rabbit's habit is that leads to this. I get it. I get it. This is silly. This is silly fun. I like it. The idea of a collectible tile game is definitely funky. Anyways, last stack, my friends. Last stack. So now we got horse. Horse face. Wait, she's literally got a horse body. She's like a centaur. All right. How many horses did we get? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Maybe I got one more than I was supposed to have one particular one and one less, because I feel like there was one was seven and one was nine. Golden bone? A bone made of gold? All right. What? Uh, place golden bone in your point pile if you have a... a what is this, a dog? A do I assume it's a dog. If it has a value of... What? If it has a value of one point... Uh, all right, I don't get it. I don't understand golden bone, but who cares? Look, it's a big old golden bone. Oh, we got two of them. Cool. Then we got a wooden horse. Oh, it's a it's a big one. It is a strength seven. Oh, it's beefy. Okay, that that's pretty beefy. It's an item. You got the you <laughs> look at check out the ram lady's like look at my gigantic horse. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is fun. All right, happy tiger. Must replace a tiger. All creatures are compatible with Happy Tiger, and Happy Tiger is compatible with all creatures. Oh, I guess that's what these are, compatibilities. Okay, that's funky. Neat. And it's like, I'm a Happy Tiger, so we're all good. Fair enough. Then we've got Elementary. Add together the intelligence values of all dogs. Is that dog? Wolf? You control. Divide this number by six to find X. This tile is now worth X points. Ooh, points. I guess, oh, silly accident. What's going on here? Discard a creature and play with intelligence three or less. Oh, whoa, okay. It's more than an accident. They they died. Holy crap. This, uh, what? This pig girl just tripped and now she's dead? That's a little, that's, that's intense. All right, then we've got lightning. Choose a tile to have minus two strength for the rest of the turn. It's like, oh, you can't wield your bow if you've been struck by lightning. Then we got powerful kick. Oh, that, those are never fun. Uh, <laughs> move a tile neighboring a, what is that symbol? You control back two spaces. If moving the tile causes other tiles to be moved, move the tile back, those tiles as well. So you've got, I guess this is a horse. So you've got, or she's literally, oh, man, you gotta be careful. With them horsey kicks, you can you can render somebody brainless. That's pretty intense. Kaplow! It's even got the Batman style old like zang. You know what I'm talking about? You ever watch the old Batman guys? Anyways, what else do we got? We got Gallop. I, uh, I swear I was looking at this through the camera and I thought there was toilet paper on this horse. I was like, what is going on? So Gallop, you get to. Move one of your horses straight forward and three. I have, I have no idea the power level of any of this stuff. All right, then we've got a lasso where you capture a... Oh, you use this to... Oh, lasso! You lasso a horse! That makes sense. Okay. She doesn't look too upset. She looks more curious. Like, what's going on? And then we've got Nay! The 10th annual Nay competition. <laughs> what? Why are you... Look at the, is, the, is that ram trying to Nay? If you control a horse, choose a player to make a horse sound. If the chosen player makes a sound to your satisfaction, place Nay into their point pile. Nay is worth one point. I mean, that you, what, you're just gonna, why? I'll just be like, no. Was that a good enough Nay? I say to thee, Nay. I don't know, man, these are cool. I dig this. There's a lot of different tiles here, a lot going on. I definitely like the artwork and the way this looks. Let me hand it back over to the other version of me to wrap this up. All right, my friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed your view into the world of fine luxury tiles. For me, this is definitely an enjoyable looking product. Carly has agreed to give it a test run with me. So if you're interested in knowing my opinions on the gameplay, you'd like a follow-up video on this product, then let me know in the comments below. I want to thank Josh from Zoo Studios. I've asked him to come on over and leave a comment 
on the video so I can pin it to the top. That way, if you want to keep in touch with the creator behind the game, you can do so because this is a rare opportunity where you're dealing with basically what is a one-man show. And after opening the box and taking a look at the quality of the product, I have to say, for something that one dude is making on his own, yeah, he's not doing the artwork, but still, he's behind the whole thing, right? That's a lot of weight to have on your shoulders. I'm impressed with it from a visual standpoint, and I can totally follow up with gameplay opinions if you're interested. So let me know. List of my patrons scrolling on by. Thanks for coming by, everybody. I'll see you all for the next video.